Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another video. Something very, very different. As today, I will be playing Terraforming Mars on my iPad. I have an iPad Pro 11, and I'm going to be trying out the solo challenge of Terraforming Mars. And I'm also going to be telling you some of my thoughts and feelings on the app itself to see if it's an app for you. So we click on the solo challenge app. You see local online. I will I will do some games of those. I will say the online is just absolutely atrocious. I'll try a game on that. But let's see what we want to start with here. Ooh, your titanium resources are worth one more. I do love the titanium strategy. I feel like the plant strategy is a better strategy in the solo game, but I like the titanium strategy. I think it's more fun. So we're gonna go with the titanium strategy and let's see what we got. Titanium mine, you better believe that, baby. Uh, something that costs titanium? Yes, sir. This one's actually really nice, too. Oh, well, it's got to be 16 degrees Celsius. Earth tile. That's for science. Okay, so we got to keep our eyes open for some science here. And then, ooh, this one would be a nice one to start. We'll be down some money. But getting that extra energy can really help. And we can make up money in some other places as well. This one could be good. No. So we got 12 bucks. I think we are good for right now. And I may have overextended myself a little bit. But that's, that's the name of the game. Let's see what we got going on here. Our four cards. We can play three of them. We obviously can't play this one because it is a science tag. And you can see when I click on the card, it's all sorts of really nifty information up here. Uh, it looks really good. I will say that. I'll give that to this game. And so here's the question, which one is better? Do I want to spend that money to really, that would get me TR every single time and the four things. No, I feel like we should do this. We can do that for free. We will not, because we, we'd, we'd, we'd be leaving a dollar on the table if we did it for four. So let's just do three. And now we've got a of titanium every time. Great start. I think that's a solid investment. Eight dollars left. What else can we do? We can do this. We will lose out on the bacteria and we will lose out on the pets. But I like the idea of getting that TR going. Doing this is essentially going to give us thirteen dollars to spend. So you know we're going to make most of our money back. Not to mention, since we're using titanium, it's only going to cost us three dollars real money. So I definitely think that is what we should do. It is not only bacteria the pets, but honestly, we can play the solo challenge. Now that I think about it, bacteria the pets don't matter. Because I like the solo challenge, I'll tell you that. But the one thing that I don't really like is it forces you to play somewhat of a specific way. Actually, let me rephrase that. It forces you... I can't do anything else, I won't do anything else. Uh, so, pass. It, it forces you to give up that strategy. Like, you're not going to have pets, you're not going to be collecting algae or any of, that, any of that stuff, just because that's not your objective. You don't care about the points you're getting. It's all about habitating Mars in 14 turns. So it makes the game somewhat different. And oh my goodness, yes. Oh, love it. First sight. This one's going to give me negative two energy at five bucks. And converting energy into money. That sounds really good, especially... Yeah. That sounds like a solid plan right there. We need science. Are any of these science? Oh, I don't remember. Does this count towards my science requirement? I don't remember this specific rule. Um, but yeah, are we really holding on to these, all these cards? Yeah, let's do it. You know what? Uh, Okay, so what do we got? We got nuclear power we can do. And that looks like the obvious choice here. Get the power churning and then we'll be able to get this and convert it into money. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I do believe in order to play that really, really good card that was cheap, where was it? The 
the mining area. Yeah, the, the condition is you have to place the mining tile on an area with a steel or titanium placement bonus adjacent to another one of your tiles. So I feel like we really might want to consider getting a tile uh, relatively quickly. So that way we can play that because it's a very inexpensive thing and it's going to start getting us titanium, which is like getting four bucks every single turn. So it just makes sense to me that maybe we overpay for something early on so we can get that bonus. But man, that negative two over there, that really, it's not fun. But I think we're done. I think we got a decent start. We're going to need some good cards. But I think we got an engine that I can see in the future. Alright. Generation number three. What do you got? Hmm. Oh, wow. That's, that's, a, that's a dream come true right there. Because that is science. And this one's also science. I need science. Oh, oh we're going to be so broke. Fine because we can make some stuff for free. Yes, this is why I love this. So we don't even have to spend a penny on this. And I might leave the money on the table, I'm not sure. Let's see. So this will let us convert energy to money. That one's gonna cost us four bucks, that one's gonna cost us two bucks, and we can do this for free, and I think we should. I think this is the time where I don't know. Should be cheap? Because it's going to give us two steel back, or two titanium back as well. Nice. And now we're making a little bit more energy, which now means that this is going to be even more useful because we'll be able to turn that three, that four bucks now, every single turn into four dollars, which is going to make up our negative two over there. And take one of them into your hand and discard the other two. Why not do it right now? Absolutely. Let's see what we got. This card, so like this card right here, you'd never take this card. Uh, Adamite. Because it doesn't matter the victory points, so it kind of changes... And that's what I was saying at the beginning. Like, you would never take that card in this game. But now that card... Oh boy, howdy. Three dollars. I could really use three dollars. Let's go three dollars. Because that'll at least put us in positives. We do have an action. What was our action? Oh yeah, we can convert money. That would get us up to five dollars which would still not be enough to do anything right now. So we will pass and go to generation number four. I love how smooth everything is. Like even down here in the bottom left, very smooth transitions. Everything looks very good, which um, gives me a lot of hope that they're going to patch the online and some of the issues that it has. So yeah, we got some more cards that we're just never gonna take. Like this is, ooh, actually, I take that back. This would give us a tile that we could set out, which then means we could play that other tile that would give us the titanium. But it's $12 and we need a plant tag, and I'm pretty sure we do, yep, yeah, we do not have a plant tag. So that one's probably no bueno. Ooh, what is this, science? When you play a science tag, including this one, either add a resource to this card or remove a science resource from the card to draw a card. That sounds like a no-brainer for what we're trying to do and then this one yeah the attack cards in this game mode are very much fun because uh, the one thing i really don't like about terraforming mars is the attack cards it just feels so out of place uh should i take both of them They feel so out of place, and you just hate playing them because you know how hard it is to run your engine. At least I do. Well, that's the only one we can afford. That's the only one we can afford for us to go. But with this, you just attack the computer, and obviously, you don't care about the computer. Which is why one day they will overthrow us. Alright, so we have $4 we could convert into money, but I don't really see. Actually, you know what? It might actually be a good play because we're gonna hopefully do something big in the next turn or two. We 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 gotta act. I feel like we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Oh, don't get a copyright strike. So we will use this right now. One, two, three, four. And I, I really kind of enjoy this this conversational way I'm talking. So let me know what you think about this because um, it's the things that go through my head, and I'm just kind of. Just let them out and seeing how it goes. So we got eight bucks for next turn. We'll get 19 more. What is that? So we'll get to 21. Okay, 21 bucks. 
and a boatload of titanium. If we can get something, give me like one of those 30 or 40 cost space projects, right? Now. Like birds, completely useless. This one's completely useless too, because we don't care about victory points. This one. That's my, that could just be my attention deficit hyper disorder taking over there. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? So, that one looks good, but it's going to take forever to play because that one, that one, that's the one we want. Look at that. That's going to be our titanium right there. And this one is very tempting as well, but we got to have money. We got to have the money to play some stuff. I got it, I got it, I got it. Just get one. Just get one. As much as I want that card, I'm just going to get one. And I could min-max this. I could, like, count it all out. But that's just not how I like to play personally. Let's see how much this is going to cost us. Take it to the bargain bin. $7. That's nice. And then what is this? Raise your TR by two steps and your temperature by one step. Increase your plant production by one step. Or four steps if you have three plant tanks. We have free plant tags. We have zero. We have zero. We still got to do it though. We got it. We got it. Poop again off the pot. Seven bucks. Well spent. Because now the temperature is raised. And the fish are done with something productive in this game. We can still do the science tag. Now here's the conundrum. You might say just get the three dollars. Get the three dollars. It makes sense. But look over here. This is going to be that science tag. And remember, I have, I only have two science tags. I hate you, game. I hate your stupid face. Okay, yeah, I'll take the three dollars. <laughs> now, do I want to get the five dollars? Do I want to be able to raise the temperature? I feel like I need to raise the temperature. Oh man, Robin, Pete, to Mary, Paul. I don't, I don't know that expression. I'm doing the thing with the stuff. But I'm certainly not terraforming Mars. That's for dang sure right now. <laughs> I do apologize if it gets a little bit loud. There's going to be a train going by in a second, oddly enough. So you might want to turn down the volume. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully there's not two trains intersecting very, very fast. Now this one's a very tempting proposition with my titanium plans. Because here's the thing. Ooh, man, this is good. This is really good. I am going to be making a plant this time for sure, which means then I can get the titanium mine, which means I'm going to have a whole bunch of titanium. I'm pretty sure that this will let you spend titanium in place of oceans, which means I can get a titanium ocean structure going. This is going good places right now. As much as I don't want to buy two, I feel like I absolutely should buy two right now, and I will buy two. You got to spend money to make money, baby. All right, so let's get ourselves some titanium because the name of the game is I have to place the mining tile on an area with a steel or titanium placement bonus. So, 
That's going to cost me four dollars, which I can easily afford. So we're going to place this. We're going to place it close to titanium, which means our best bet because we also want plants. But we also want cards. We definitely need cards. So I think I'm going to go with cards right there. And normally you'd be worried about your placement for victory points, but in this game mode you don't care about the victory points with this in. And now we can do this bad boy, which is going to be big time for us, hopefully. This is where we start to turn it around. Because we got that one, that means now, boom, we're going to be making two titanium a turn. I wish it was higher, but it's a start. Can't afford anything right now, but what we do have this. And we're close to getting another heat, because once we get up to 24 degrees, we grab another heat. Let's see, we currently have $9. We can get up to $14. If we get up to $14, can we play anything? We could. We could play the conference. So the question is, is it worth getting the conference, or... Do we want to save up more money to get a potentially better card next turn? I really think that this is a card that we should focus on getting heavily. So I am going to... Oh, man, if we can get those four science. Like, we've got this whole strategy set up. Like, this was... So this is the point in the game. This is my favorite aspect of Terraforming Mars right here, and I'm glad you get to see it. Um... It's, is it, do I pivot? Do I change my strategy? Or do I stick to my guns and say, hey, this is the horse I rode in on. And I'm going to stick with the horse I rode in on, big boys. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to get five bucks. <laughs> this may lose me the game, but if I lose, I'm going to lose my way. And that's that's how I love to play games sometimes, you know. But, ooh, or I could get that. Mm, but that's two bucks every turn. That's a really tempting offer, but I need the science. Yes, science, 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 science. focus on science. And there was also a special ability on there. I don't quite understand that special ability. Let me reread it. No, I think it'll just trigger the next time I play science card. And it's so embarrassing. I was really hoping this would be a great game, but man, that, that power from Bowers Game Corner is really good at games. No, that's not the case. Increase any titanium production by one step and increase your own by one step. Absolutely. And this is going to give me two titanium. So it's these these attack cards are really helpful. Now, what is this one? Soil Factory is tempting. So I spent five heat to either gain four plants or no. Get out of here. Get out of here with that hot garbage. Six bucks. Well spent. This is where we turn things around. So, uh, we have to do this. Like, this is just a no-brainer. Our whole strategy is going to be around titanium. We've got to get the titanium turned. Because that's the strategy. That's what we're doing. Now we can't build gold, oh, but this one's going to give us two titanium as well. Also gonna raise up our heat. Yep. I don't wanna I don't wanna waste the money. We're running a very tight operation right now. We really have to uh, tighten the belt string. Hopefully my uh, my battery. Or I have enough space on my right, here we go. What's next? Nothing to make. We could get up to nine dollars. Would nine dollars get us anything? Is the question. We still don't have four science tags, so we can't build that. My heart breaks. Um, this one could be potentially bought, but is it really worth getting right now? We won't be able to utilize it immediately. We can also get a dollar for this predators. We're clearly going to get rid of that. So let's just go ahead and where is it? I always forget. Standard projects. Sell a patent. Just to have that extra dollar, maybe it lights up one of those cards and it makes the difference. Not this particular time. I can get up to 10. No. So it looks like we're going to pass here. I will not get the $5. Yes, I will get the $5. You know what? I said <laughs> I'm committing to my strategy, dang it. I need $5. That's what I need right now. So I take it. 
get some cash, and we are coming back for a vengeance. I feel like we right now are about to start rolling down the hill. But are we going to roll fast enough? That's the name of this game. At least in the solo mode. Give me something good. Give me something really good. Pretty, please. Something nice and pretty. That looks good. That's that right there is something very nice. And this one also. Ocean for 16 bucks, and we get three greens. Yeah, that one's a no-brainer. I think this one is the one we have to get. I also want that one. Yeah, really spend, we're spending the money. I hate spending the money. But we got to do it. Got to do it. So which one of these is the most important? Now that becomes the question. So this one um, is going to give us an ocean tile. This one's going to give us... I feel like this one's good. And it's free. Oh, it's totally free. It's beautiful. That is just a free one, and we can get ourselves two plants, or we can get ourselves two cards, or we can get ourselves two titanium. Oh, the delicious choices in this game. Let's check out the game state. Is anything... Is this science? There's our science card. No, it's not science. God, where's my science cards? This would be a good one to get up. We're going to need $15 to get that one up. So, there's no way it's going to give us $15. So, I think we should go for the two cards. Give us some more flexibility. Can we get something really helpful? Who knows? Set this one out. So we should connect it that way. Do we want to convert our money? That's the question again. Oh, build. Yes, build. We want to build, though. This one seems very appealing. This one's gonna. Whoa, yeah, we got extra cards. This one. This is the one. That's the one we make. Let's see why in a second. That's the one we make. That's that's a no-brainer because now we have this action right here, which is gonna raise this up, which is gonna give us more money every time, and it gives us the wood, which is a resource we have not had the entire game, which makes things like this possible. Big plays, big plays in Generation 9, but will they be enough? That is the question. Look at all those big numbers down there. I'm liking it. Anything we could possibly do, we can get $2. Probably not. No actions. Very solid turn. Getting those two cards was big. Look at all those things go. I love it. Seven bucks. That's seven bucks right there. It's not seven energy, that's seven dollars. If I need it to be. What cards do we have? Two oceans? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, stop it. These are all so good. Add one resource to a card. Don't care about you. Those are all really great cards. Um, two oceans and two temperatures. And it's going to cost me $16. Yeah. Because we got to. Because here's the thing. We gotta pivot right now. This is the pivot point. As much as I want to really focus, I feel like we do need to kind of sell it out. So two titanium seems great. Yes. And two of these also seems great. Look at that. Very nice. For anything? No, but we can do this. Give us a little bit of money because place it next to the ocean. Well, maybe I'm just doing do 
freaking science? Are you kidding me? Man. six dollars okay it's not that's not nothing <laughs> and let's get this get the TR okay. some reason, I think it might be a glitch. It cancels out the other one, which I've had. Yep, there it is. I can't do the other one now. Which is an error. I should be able to still do it, because I still have three energy, which is kind of a bummer. And that is not the first time it's happened in the game. I've played this quite a lot. Because that stinks, because that would give me six bucks, which I believe would maybe be able to allow me to afford something. But, say la vie, I cannot do anything. So we will pass. Look at all the numbers, but oh, eight titanium. I gotta spend that. It's not helping me send in my bank account. And that's great. That's really good. That's really good. That. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is I, I, I have too much. <laughs> I think I have too much. But hey, why not? Oh. Wow, three bucks for that. Yes, please. If I can, you know, I feel like I'm not going to win, but if I can sink some cards like that, like those cards are huge. Those are game changers. Okay, ooh, I could get the two wood. Let's see how much stuff we need. One thing that needs wood. Two things that need wood. Yeah, I think we actually go... Oddly enough, over here. Right there. Get two hammers. I know I have six hammers. That's really nice. We could get up to eight hammers. And I do believe we actually should consider that because money is at a premium right now. So let's do that. Now we have eight hammers. That's fantastic. Okay, temperature and look at that. So, we want the four heat. We're going to need to raise the heat up. Is there no science? We still have no science. I could do this one. Wow. <sighs> the choices. The choices in this game. But I also need the oceans. I need to do that sticking ocean tile. Okay. 
we are going to do do the big boys do the big boys even if you lose you can look down at your hand and say you know what i played some dang impressive cards i had a really fun engine turning and if we would go into 16 rounds i would have crushed look at that because of all the wood we got Price goes down to $4. Oh yeah, which means we're going to be making this beef, raising the temperature. I don't think it's going to be enough, but... That was an ocean tile. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Alright, can we do anything else? Oh, I cannot. That was rough. Two more turns. loser here. Too many cards. My eyes were bigger than my plate. How the expression goes. That was nice. No science! Where's the dang science? We need to convert heat into money? Let's get these oceans out. Let's let's just get as close as we can. Let's get within striking distance and see if we can get lucky. Enough trying to get cute with everything. Let's just focus on getting this place as close to good as we can. There's one over here, and we need greenery. What do we need to build? Do we need a card? We don't need more cards. We don't need more cards! Stop looking at the cards! Alright. So, when you're raising temperature, we can get more greenery. We can... the temperature. Let's do it. We're gonna, we're gonna try and get as close as we can to both of them. I think this is the pivot we need to make. Wow. Uh, did it do any? Oh, right there. Alright. Wow. How things have changed. We are cooking right now. Boy, howdy. We can get more wood. Do we need more wood? Not look like it. I think we should take the greenery. So let's go right. Was oh, that my only choice? What? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I can go here. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go. Oh, we get too much place against the ocean. Awesome. That's an unexpected bonus. All right. What do we want to make next? What is the most important thing right now? It is getting everything out. Keep it around in the fries. I know all those cards, they do fancy stuff. They're so fun, they're so pretty. I want to play all of them. No. That's foolish. I should have went over here to the green too. Oh no, it would have been Yes, it would have Kids, my dad cooks baked beans. 
he used to get me every other weekend. And he cooked some baked beans. And the, uh, I hated it. So it was family movie night. He was like, you are not going to watch this movie. And you are not going to come out here unless you eat your baked beans. So what I did was I put my baked beans in a sock under the table. And then I threw that sock into a banister. <laughs> and it started to rot. And I got my butt beat big time for that one but you know i didn't eat the beans. <laughs> the moral of the story so uh i do think we are coming up a little too late to pull this off but uh it's gonna be it's actually gonna be pretty cool. so, yeah we'll be able to get the oxygen up all the way because i can at the very minimum do that action but i don't see us getting free What we do need to focus on, though, is, yes, we don't need any more energy at all, or oxygen at all, because we're going to be able to do that next round with the three we get, because you have the one last turn to terraform. So that one is completely go. So we actually want to use this action and get some money. Yeah, eight bucks. That eight bucks is eight bucks, because that's how money works. We have 65 bones over here. So the question is, what do we want to spend? This no longer is helpful in any way, shape, or form. So we can actually just sell that. Likewise, as much as I love this card, it is not helpful now. We need cards that are going to help us right now. This $8 card will get us $6. Yippee. Once again, another card that I wish they would do something with in the... Uh, man, none of these cards are helping. This one is the only one, and it costs a fortune. I don't even know if it's worth it to do. Alright, this is where we're actually going to crunch some numbers real quick. So, uh, this is going to cost us $25. Uh, it would actually only cost us $5 because we'd use all the titanium. So, we would then spend $20, $36 in order to get the last three ocean tiles out. So, is 41 bucks. I feel like that's a really solid investment. Crunching the numbers in my head. Boom. Let's do that. I feel like a bunch of And maybe in some way we get lucky and it's able to raise the temperature. I feel like the temperature is our biggest bugaboo here. So now we have this action. And we are absolutely going to do that. Do it over here. $2 bonus. $2 bonus is going to be big. Oh, you can only do it once per turn! Oh, that was such a poor waste of money. I'm a noob. I played this game like 50 times, and I, st I still did that. Alright, so, um, let's just see if we can do it the old-fashioned way. Standard projects, here we come. $14. $14 is good. $14. $14. Okay, so we did, I think that is, that is our last stand. I don't see any scenario in which we get any more money, but let's get as close as we can. Let's sell everything. Boom, 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 boom. Because, hey, you're playing this, maybe play for high, I don't know how to do it. Alright, so $15. Will $15 get us anything? I do not believe so. Can we get some of the dollar menu? Nope. Aw, $18. Nothing we can do left. Pass it on. And we accept defeat. Those eight hammers. Those oh man. You can convert up to one to greeneries. I will do that. Doesn't matter where. Put it right there. Centrally located. And I say to the president, I say, listen, you know, cut me some slack. I got all the trees up. I got all your precious trees. There's plenty, just plenty of other stuff. The oxygen, good. Tastes good, right? Tastes clean, you know? Uh, I just, uh...
So I don't think I should get fired. I feel like I did a good job. But there you go. That is Terraforming Mars, the solo version of the game. Uh, hopefully by now you can see if that's going to be for you. And if you enjoy what I'm doing, please let me know. And I will be sure to do some more videos like this on my iPhone. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please click on the subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time too.